Welcome back to another video. So today's video, we're doing my 2021 prep reset, like reset for the new year. Just all the things that I always do every single year to get ready to bring in all the good for the new year. So I kind of just shared my slow morning with you guys today. It's been such a gray and rainy day, but just as I kind of finished my morning, got all ready, the sun started to pop out and there's some blue sky coming and that makes me so happy and so ready to just declutter, clean, plan goals, prep, and do everything that I do for the new year. But let's just get started right away. Like, let's start this day. Let's start off this new year on a great note. The first thing that needs to be done is just kind of like cleaning up. I'm just gonna do probably a little like declutter of my spaces. My whole apartment actually isn't too bad right now, which is surprising. Let me show you guys what's going on, what I need to clean up. So I need to just declutter that space a little bit, but overall my room's not too bad. Like do the top of that, clean up the clothes on the floor, but my kitchen is actually okay. And then I just need to do my desk in my office because I just have a bunch of leftover like papers, things that need to be filed and then leftover schoolwork that could be recycled or put away. But yeah, the first thing that I always do for getting ready for the new year is just cleaning and decluttering my spaces because it gives me a better headspace to like, I don't know, a clean apartment, clean room is like a clean headspace and I love that. So we are starting with that. So normally I've just kept kind of my everyday hoops and necklaces out here, but I think I need to organize it a little bit because obviously I have like necklaces everywhere now. I need to put the Missouri pieces back in their little dust bags and I think I'm going to go put them in my jewelry drawer because I just have way too much going on here. So this just, it needs to be decluttered obviously. literally not touched my desk since I had my last exam on the 22nd um, except for charging my computer so I literally just have like work papers and receipts and just crap everywhere so this obviously needs to be a little organized. All 
right, so all of my spaces have been cleaned and decluttered and now it is time to start the vision slash mood board. This is my favorite part of getting ready for the new year because I love making just like cute vision boards and mood boards and just getting ready for the new year in an aesthetic way but also like planning goals and stuff. So I started this about two years ago and I'll show you guys exactly how I do everything. But basically I just go on Pinterest and if you follow me on Pinterest you'll have seen I started a 2021 board about two weeks ago, like mid-December. And I just casually was like pinning things that inspired me or things that related to some of the things that I want to accomplish. But let's get into making the mood board. I'm gonna pull up my laptop and show you guys everything of how I do it. So right now this is the one that I made last year. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing and make a whole new one and set it as my desktop screensaver. So the first thing that I always do, we go right to Pinterest. If you're not already following me, go hit up my Pinterest. But I just have my 2021 board right there. So I'm just gonna take all of the pictures from here and put them into my mood board and then maybe grab some other pictures if I need some fillers. But I also have my 2019 and my 2021 there if you need some inspo and wanna look at it. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up a new PowerPoint or add a slide to another one. What I've been liking to do is just adding it in the same PowerPoint. We're just going to create a new slide though and then delete all the text. Obviously you can see it's my one from last year, the one that is literally like my still my home screen right now. But all I did was copy and paste the pictures from Pinterest and then played around with all the pictures until I liked the layout of it. If you don't know how to copy and paste a picture from Pinterest, all you have to do is control option click or right click depending on if you're using a mouse and then right there, copy image. And then you can just command V to paste and it just pastes in like that. So I'm just gonna do a little time lapse of me making my mood board now. Of you fill my head recently. I've been thinking about your smiling hair instead of focusing on me. I've been focusing on you. Memories of the time we spent back when we were so in love with us. I've been wondering how you're doing, I've been wondering how you're sleeping night. So here is my 2021 finished vision board mood board. Now all you want to do is when you're done is export it to a PDF. Then you're going to want to open up that PDF and all you're going to want to do is screenshot that picture that you just made and then set it as your desktop. Here's my finished screensaver, mood board, vision board for the year. So just to quickly go over some of the things that I include, because I do include like goals and stuff. Obviously it is a vision board for the year. Some things that you might want to include are relationship, fitness, friend goals, any apartment or house goals, as well as somewhere that you might want to travel. And then just some quotes that you kind of want to make the year, as well as maybe like a job goal. And then I also have just some like filler aesthetic photos in there. But this is my vision board for the year. Now that I finished my mood board and I got kind of all the inspo and big major things out of the way, what I'm gonna do, but I'm going to sit down and plan out 21 goals for 2021, as well as just some intentions and some things that I wanna set. Just because like 2020 was such a weird year and yes, I completed like a lot of goals, but like I just have a really good feeling about 2021 and I'm really excited for this upcoming year. So I'm just gonna plan out 21 kind of big overarching goals that I, want to work towards this year. So I just wanted to show you guys my little goal and gratitude journal for the year again because I think it is absolutely the cutest thing and then it's got another one at the back but I already sort of <laughs> did this probably back closer to the 
last week of December, but I just kind of already started. But I am just going to be doing my 21 goals for 2021 right now. Sunny days I spent with you in town Walking down that sunny street Passing that coffee house Where we drink lemonade And ate some cherry cake This memory never fades Alright, I just finished writing down all my, my 21 goals and intentions for 2021 So I thought I'd share a few with you guys Because you guys are always interested in my goals And that sort of thing So I'll share a few of them that I would like to share with you guys So I want to get my own apartment this year I want to move out and I want to move downtown and I want to get my own apartment that is my biggest goal for this year and I would love to be able to do that I want to hit 100k on YouTube which is very very possible because I'm at I think 90 97 or 98k now which is amazing I love you all so so much 15k on Instagram which we're at almost five and a half right now so that's a bit of a stretch but like I feel like I can do it I believe in myself um, I want to go to London because obviously you guys know I didn't get to go last year. I'm really hoping that I'm able to go this year. I want to keep my 3.9 to 4.0 GPA. That's just kind of like an overall school every year goal. I want to volunteer at a kids hospital this year. Like for the full summer, my plan is to volunteer if I can almost every single day. We'll see what happens if I can get in anywhere or what the situation is like, but I would love to be able to do that. And then I want to start reading again and I want to read at least five, whether it's fiction, nonfiction. I just want to read five books this year because I used to love reading and I stopped because obviously like school got busy, life got busy, but I want to start reading more again. I want to actually journal this year. I told myself last year that I would and I never really did. So I want to start doing that this year. And that is also what this is, is hopefully I can even just like a simple, like my day was like this, I was feeling like this and some gratitude. I want to hit some new gym PRs. Hopefully the gyms will open up again soon and I can start lifting again. That would be great. I want to meet some more blogger friends. I met a few this fall before COVID got worse and everything. So I want to meet some more next year. I want to redefine my morning routine and just like make it a really good, positive, energizing thing because Sometimes I have a routine and sometimes I don't and I just want to kind of nail that down, you know? I want to do something new or exciting or like random <laughs> once a month. So like whether it be like going for a drive and going for a walk somewhere new or going to a new restaurant, like just something kind of exciting once a month at least. Um, I want to take more pictures and Polaroids because obviously I have my little Polaroid camera up there and I never use it and I want to use it more. And then I also want to get my seconds pierced. I've been meaning to get them pierced for so so long and you know what I'm finally going to do it. I'm gonna do it this year. <laughs> I want to improve my makeup skills. Obviously like they're not too bad but I lo would love to know how to you know do eyeliner and actually be able to put on falsies so practicing that more this year. I want to go to the Toronto Christmas market next Christmas because I've never done that in my entire life of living in Toronto in Ontario and I, I just want to do that okay like it's a cute thing to go and do and I want to do it and so I'm going to do that this year. I want to embrace myself and continue to find my confidence because I feel like even though 2020 was a really bad year like I started to be able to find myself and then lose myself but like find myself more and just embrace my confidence or like embrace myself and then one of my last ones is i wanted to grow in all of my relationships which obviously is kind of codependent on the other people in the relationships but like friendships my parents my friends just everything and those are some of my goals for this year and then i wrote myself this little paragraph at the end and basically i just want 2021 to be a more intentional year being more intentional with the content that i put out for you guys more intentional with myself and but now that i'm done kind of my goals and my intentions the last thing that i am going to do and i suggest you guys do as well is sit down and just reflect on 2021 so it's a little personal so i'm probably not going to share my 2020 reflection of the year but some of the things that you might want to include when you're doing your reflection and some of the things that I'm just going to reflect on as well is some things that went well, some small wins, some successes, some things that you could have done better or things that you could have worked on that you want to work on in 2021. Something you overcame, things that you're proud of, 
um, just basically like a big brain dump of 2020 and getting out all of your thoughts and everything that happened in 2020 to get ready for the new year that's coming in. And honestly, just like literally not ridding your brain of 2021, but reminding yourself of everything that happened and like things that you can work on and do better and things that you can appreciate from 2020, even though it was a really hard, really weird year. And I know that probably the first few months of 2021 are still gonna be hard and still gonna be weird. And of course, like every year is gonna have hard aspects, but it's just kind of appreciating and remembering what you went through. Because I think we often forget like, everything that happened in a year and so sitting down at the end of the year and kind of just going oh yeah like all this really did happen I really did do that or you know I think it's just really important and just a good little self-reflection but honestly I have a really good feeling about 2021 and I'm really excited to see everything that the new year brings and I'm excited to have you guys along on the journey and to keep making more videos and just make 2021 a great year no matter what happens i think after 2020 we're all just honestly prepared for anything at this point considering how much of a weird year 2020 was but yeah i'm excited for another year of videos and vlogs and growth and i'm excited to have you guys along on the journey so as always, thank you for your support of last year and just loving my content and continually supporting me. You guys are honestly the best, so thank you. But I'm going to sign off for this video, this little 2021 reset and vlog. And I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.